My wife cheated on me while I was waiting for her in the car. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Fresh Master Channel. Today, we are going to have some story from Reddit. But before we start, don't forget to subscribe, like the video if you enjoyed it, and leave a comment down below. These simple clicks would mean a lot to the future of this channel. Just over three months ago, I walked into a room in my house to my wife making out heavily with douchebag, arms and legs locked around him. Startled, he fell flat on his face. She started smiling briefly. Instantly, my heart shattered. My unconditional trust instantly erased. My life was a lie. This girl doesn't love me. It was a fake. Eighteen years and two kids. Flush. Just bought our first house. Great timing. I think I'm a respectful, gentle, loyal provider and truly believe I treat her like gold. I know I'm not perfect, but I try hard. I'm easy to get along with. I can get loud. I can say hurtful things. Enough about me. I left, consulted a divorce lawyer. She maintained that they never had sex. She maintained douchebag turned violent and pulled her hair, started kissing her. She said that was the first time anything had happened. She said if I hadn't come in when I did, she would have gotten raped. Bullcrap. She was holding him. That douchebag had been talking to me earlier that evening because we had some people over for drinks, him being over, if them, and he told me about this smoking hot chick he was ducking. She was so tight, gave me the A-OK -okay sign with his hands, and changed the subject. I just thought he was being a creepy dude and dismissed it at the time. She had been flirtatious with him all night long, and I noticed it right away. Things and past events just started clicking. This had been going on for a while. My 12-year-old daughter and 7-year-old son were devastated that I left. My daughter begged me and pleaded that she didn't want to have two houses like a lot of her friends. We had just purchased our first house a month prior. With lawyer's recommendation, we did up a trial reconciliation. Wife was to get help with alcohol, marriage counseling, personal counseling. None of these things have been met. She drinks just as much now and started smoking again. I've blown up on average two times per week at her since I've been back home because first, I didn't believe her story, and second, I'm mad she isn't more remorseful, loving, or willing to do what I've asked of her in the reconciliation. I can't keep blowing up on her. It's not fair to me, her, or the kids. So, on the weekend, I got the confession I thought I wanted. After countless fights, me hinting, not letting it go, and a bit of a lie on my part saying I spoke to douchebag and he told me everything, she said, why do you need to hear it from me then? To which I replied, because I need to hear your lips tell me, not douchebag. She finally told me. She said they had sex four to five times, more, I'm sure. Another bombshell dropped when she told me it would happen when I would drive her to his house and wait for her in the car. She made a BJ this guy while I was waiting 50 feet away. Heart shattered even further. It burned bad, but I asked for it. You might ask, why would I drive her to this guy's house at all? To be brutally honest, she would buy green tea off douchebag for us. That is why I would drive her there, I thought. I said, but why? Of course. She said he persistently sent her sexy texts and kept at it. I replied, oh, so if some creepy dude just keeps asking you to duck him, you'll do it? Is that what you're saying? Just give out the most sacred thing we have together? She then said, it wasn't you. I was feeling worthless. Then she hit me with the nuke. She said, I did it because of the way you are, and it'll never change. She said the first offense happened in February, and at that time, we had been really doing great with our relationship. So it didn't make sense, and she gave me no chance, no warning, before tearing my life and family to shreds. She promised it was always protected. She promised it never happened at our house, in our bed, or when I was out of town. Just when I was waiting outside that guy's house for my wife to get ducked and then drive her home and unknowingly have sex with her hours later. Duck. He told me my wife was tight, right to my face, and I didn't know it at the time. It was affecting our bed life terribly. In April, to the point where she pushed me off her and started crying once, I had unknowingly been suffering the effects of this affair for months before I caught her. Cue that sick stomach feeling again. I got upset that she told me it was my fault it happened. Asked why she didn't tell me or give me a chance or just end it if she didn't want me. She started making many excuses why, bringing up ten-year-old crap, telling me she was angry for tricking her into the confession. 
she told me she withheld the truth because she wasn't sure if I wanted her back or not. I did not recognize how that made sense. She told me I better get my team of lawyers on her and stormed off. I was so mad at her and myself. I asked for the truth and I got it. I think she's trying to make her sins okay with herself. This is not the first bout of infidelity we have had. We have been together since we were 18 years old, 18 years ago. We've been a team for half of our lives. I want to make it work. She wants to make it work. I'm having trouble not thinking about how she ducked me over. It happens five to ten times daily. She was and still is my first everything. Maybe I'm obsessing. Maybe I have gone crazy. Maybe I have unhealthy, unrealistic views on what marriage and intimacy should be. She says she can't handle the hot cold I have towards her for the last few months. I need to get over this trauma so I can think straight. I want my family back, but I don't want to be a chump. I don't want to be used. I don't want to hurt like this ever again. I want to be able to go back to work and concentrate on work instead of feeling sorry for myself. I want to play with my kids and do fun things instead of being a depressed cranky pants. I'd like to hold my wife's hand without dirty thoughts of her ducking some dude while I wait patiently for her in the car. I kicked my cheating wife out of the house and made everything public. Me, 48 years old male, and my wife, 46 year old female, have been married 21 years, together 23 years, and have a 22 year old son. We have been having some problems for the past year or so, and there has been very little intimacy or affection from her for the past few months. Unfortunately, I travel often for work, but I've really tried to make things better lately and have taken time off and been making extra effort to engage her, give her back rubs, hugs, and affection, but she just became more and more distant, culminating in her straight-up turning me down the last couple of times I tried to initiate. She has never, ever turned me down for any intimacy in the first 20 years we're married. I've also been suspicious because she never puts her phone down and is super secretive with it. I finally worked up the nerve to check the phone bill, and lo and behold, She's been calling and texting some numbers I don't recognize. There are thousands of texts going back to last year, at all hours of the day, even on holidays. After seeing this, I obviously knew something was going on, so I sat her down and confronted her about it. She said it was only an emotional affair, and they had not been physical at all, just chats and flirting. This guy comes into her workplace regularly, but I have never met him. I was devastated, but I knew there was more going on, so I did some digging. It seems he is using multiple phone numbers to do this, but after some serious investigating, I found his name, social media, where he works, assistant veterinarian, and some other details. After a couple of days, I confronted her with all I had found out. She denied, denied, and denied at first until I threatened to go public. She finally admitted it was a physical affair and had been going on for quite some time, at least six months. She claimed she was only physical with him one time, but conveniently couldn't remember when it happened, when I pressed her for details, or when it occurred. Right. After her gaslighting and lying to me for so long, I obviously don't believe it's only happened one time. Holy crap, what a chump I've been. This is definitely a deal-breaker for me. We had what I thought was a great marriage until recently, but who knows how long she has been screwing around. At first, we had agreed to separate and work on ourselves, but once she admitted to having sex with him when confronted a couple days later, I told her we need to divorce. We have no minor children and no major assets. She's had major medical issues. We had sold everything we had worked hard for to pay for doctors and treatment, so the divorce process is fairly simple here. She has agreed to move out this coming week and wants to move in with a single friend who has kids and crash on her couch? WTF. She claims the new guy has four roommates, so she won't be staying with him, but I just don't trust anything she says now. I just don't know what to do next. The hurt and betrayal has me seriously messed up as we have been together virtually all of our adult lives. I'm really grieving the marriage and at first thought we might be able to work through it, but there's just no coming back from this. I'm super close with my son, and he knows she's been cheating and is disgusted, but he obviously still loves his mom. Here's where I could really use some advice. 
I really have a strong urge to blow this up and let our family and friends know exactly why we are splitting up. She is terrified I will make everything public and beg me not to go public because it could ruin his life and he's a good guy, except for destroying marriages in his free time. I know where he works and have half a mind to let people in his life know what's going on because he has absolutely destroyed my marriage and my life. My son wants me to just end things with her and not blow this up. He says I will be stooping to their level if I go public about them cheating, but this has broken my heart as well as our marriage, and I'm just getting more and more angry. Should I go public and out them? Anyone have any advice on how I should go about this? Or any resources that could help me work through this? How can I ever trust again? Edit. My son is my number one priority right now. He also recently broke it off with his first love who cheated, so the timing of this really sucks. I want to respect his wishes, but have decided I am at minimum. I will be telling our close friends and family, which will upset my son. But after this betrayal, I'm not going to give her a chance to just hide her actions and sweep it all under the rug. I also feel like I need to out my wife so I can maintain some self-respect and that it's a lesson I hope my son learns also. Nothing he or I did justified this betrayal of our family. I asked her to please just pack her stuff and go. She agreed and will be out today. Also wanted to add, we are just filing a joint petition for divorce. We have no assets, just some medical debt, and we will be splitting that so there's nothing else to really fight over. No alimony, no child support. I have the signed and notarized divorce paperwork and will be filing on Monday. Edit number two. After receiving some nasty PMs, I kicked her out of the house six days ago and have told both our families and friends. She is supposedly staying on her friend's couch and using her address. Doesn't really matter to me anymore. I am now focusing on myself and my immediate family. I am moving to a new apartment in 10 days and am not leaving a forwarding address. If I personally confront the guy, there's a good chance I'll end up in jail. So our focus is now on the future.